Ryan here and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 on Ravenport. Again, the North American map here for Farming Simulator 19. Uh, currently have a hired worker here working on fertilizing 14, 15, and 16. Just uh, started here. Uh, okay, right. Saving. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, putting the second uh, level of fertilizer here on this uh, field. Also kind of been waiting for the weeds to show up here. We got uh, soybeans on this field. So far, no weeds. And I think, are we on the last growth stage here? Uh, oh, yeah, we got one more growth stage. So, okay, so there might be weeds that show up yet. I'm not sure, but uh, so far, no weeds. And just uh, check this field here as well. Yeah, this is definitely in the last uh, growth stage here. So I haven't sprayed for weeds at all yet. I'm not sure what is up with that. Uh, if we're just not going to get weeds this time or, or not. Uh, gonna be very uh, annoying here if in the last uh, last stage here if the weeds suddenly show up because then I'm not gonna be able to spray them. But oh well, I guess we'll find out. But uh, anyway, since last episode, if you watched the uh, live stream here last uh, Sunday, I uh, did a bunch of forestry on the map here, and it uh, yeah, forestry and farming simulator 19 here is uh, borderline awful, shall we say? <laughs> It, it's definitely not great. It, it's got some pretty serious problems with it, if you ask me. Uh, with that being said, we did make some decent money off of it. Oh, decent. I don't actually know what. Uh, where can we look at how much money we made here? Should uh, statistics. Do not have uh, information. Trees cut down. We cut down a total of 26 trees. Uh, let's see. Here. Does it tell us how much sold wood? Oh, 94,000. So, yeah, we made uh, we made pretty good off that. I uh, went ahead and leased a trailer here. Uh, the plow was also leased, by the way, but the plow I leased so I could plow uh, fields and make fields. Uh, so I went ahead and leased this uh, trailer. Worked pretty good. I uh, got the log forks for the John Deere there, and I used the uh, plow here for a weight because I don't have any uh, three-point hitch weights at this point. So it's like, oh, well, you know what? Got a plow. Stick the plow in the back. That should be nice and heavy, right? Uh, worked pretty good. I don't need to grind out the stumps here yet. Um... Which are, like, really hard to find, by the way, with these annoying bushes in the game now. Pretty sure I left the stumps in. It looks like there's a couple more trees I can cut down here as well. But, uh, yeah, if you want to see how the uh, forestry went there, definitely uh, check out that uh, live stream. Uh, again, we are live streaming over on Twitch there uh, due to the fact we can't live stream on YouTube here currently. Due to some uh, nonsense from uh, YouTube. Ah, uh, yes, do have some stumps here. Okay, so let's uh, take the case here. I got the case sitting up uh, here waiting to spray for weeds, but, like, no weeds are showing up. So, yeah, kind of hard to spray for weeds when there's no weeds. Uh, also, harvested the uh, canola there from last uh, episode as well. If you, again, if you watch the live stream, we're kind of working on that. Uh, so, got some money here. We've got 146000 at the moment. Not really sure what we're going to spend that on yet. Probably going to be another field, I think. I think at this point is our best investment going to be fields. Oh, there's a stump. Uh, what's annoying about this yet, I don't know if you can see this here or not. Get out of the tractor. Uh, you notice when you cut a tree down, you get that little, uh, I don't know what that piece would be called, but basically you notch the tree. Uh, this is the piece that comes out of that notch. If you get this over it just right, it will get rid of it, but other than that, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's like really annoying. Why? Like the giants, why? I'm not like, supposed to get rid of that somehow. It's annoying. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here trying to fiddle with this. Yeah. Oh, well. Moving on. I'll just like uh, create a pile of them or something. <laughs> I don't know. Probably should uh, return the lease on our current trailer as well. Uh, again, like I said, it is leased. So I think I bought the stump grinder here, so we should have that purchased. Not that expensive. There's another one. Uh, of course, the idea here is going to be to plow these uh, fields together, so. Yeah, there's another one of those pieces out of the notch there. Uh, 
another one. Once we get the stumps ground out, I'll probably actually have to start plowing here first until I find all the stumps. You know, we hit one, and oh yeah, there's another stump. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to find all the stumps here. Not sure how big we can make this field here either, but we can definitely plow it out at least a little bit bigger. Again, the little notch stays behind. How annoying. Yeah, we can't really make the field much bigger on this side because we don't own... Uh, I think our property ends at this path here, if I recall correctly. And uh, same thing on this side as well. The path that goes up that way, I believe, is where our property ends. I'm not sure where it ends back that way, though, actually. Out of curiosity, where does it end? Yeah, well, we actually go back that way a little ways, don't we? Okay. And we also kind of own like around the curve there a little bit as well I suppose you know what we could uh, maybe hang on to our current uh, trailer for the time being maybe uh, a couple more trees down make a little more money have a little more fun with it <laughs> at least as much fun as you can have doing forestry in 19 anyway I won't uh, bore everyone with the details like I said if you want to see the details just uh, watch the uh, live stream there Oh, there's one more over here yet, looks like. Now that's a big old stump there. There we go. Okay, I don't think there's any more uh, stumps over this way. What I should do as well, I forgot to do that. I should probably cut this tree down over here. Uh, it's a little bit annoying with hired workers right here with this current tree. If I get a chance, I should cut that one down. And it uh, seems like, the, oh yeah, there's that one down there as well. Um, I suppose we could cut that one down as well. It is kind of nice having some, you know, some trees around for some scenery as well, so I don't just want to you know, cut all the trees down, but uh, that tree there is, yeah, thinking about a little bit annoying when it comes to hired workers, so we might get rid of that one. Is that a stump there? I think. Or no, it's not. It might be one of those notches there. Yep. Or no, that is a stump. No, that is to a stump. Okay. Nope, there's a stump there. Better get that one. Like I was saying, it might come down to the fact we're just going to have to start plowing here. And, oh, crap. There's a stump. At least the plows don't break in the game like they do in real life, right? Oh, there's one sitting right by the trailer there, too. Okay, any more? Gotta be some more out here. I'm pretty sure of that. Oh, there's one. And uh, how's our hired worker doing over here yet? He is uh, still going. Usually once the field gets a little bit narrower here. Yeah, he starts uh, acting a little derpy down here. I don't know why. Uh, don't remember where the real field... Actually, we have to turn that off. Okay, yeah. So you can see where he's only about halfway through 14 here, and he's already... Doing uh, crazy stuff, not going right to the end there. And again, I didn't really plow anything on this side. Uh, the road side, I did, so it kind of makes sense. Okay, maybe he's not going to plow right to the road because, I don't know, because why, I'm not sure. But the other side, yeah. Oh, that's going to be a tree. Uh, might be all, well, it's probably not all the stumps, but... All that I'm seeing. Enough we can... Oh, is there one right there yet? Uh, I think that's actually a... One of the little notch pieces again. Ugh, annoying. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's grab our plow here. Oh, you know what? I should probably pull this trailer off the field here as well. Uh, this part of the field isn't planted because that's where I was doing my forestry. 
Oh, there's a stump. Oh my goodness, a stump right there. Yeah, see, I, I told everyone we're going to miss some stumps here. Kind of right by the plow. Uh, you know what I can probably do here? I could probably put the plow on the back, and then I can uh, put the uh, stump grinder on the front here yet. Then we can run uh, both. That way, if we have to uh, grind out a stump real quick, we can uh, do that. Interesting. It does work without a PTO attached. Ah, good to know. Very interesting. Okay, where was that stump? Right there. No, no, I don't need to flip the plow. Let's turn the front on. There we go. Right implement selected here. Okay, now we can start... Uh, Working on plowing this here. And I have already plowed this bigger already, by the way. Uh, several uh, passes with the plow here. I plowed it up to the tree line. And then I uh, stopped, obviously, right at the tree line. So now that we've uh, gotten rid of the tree line there, I would select the plow. Can I uh, make this even bigger yet? And trying to maximize our uh, field here as much as possible. Again, the uh, starter fields we started here, 24, 25, and 26. Really small fields. Definitely not the greatest of purchases here in the game. Oh, boy, the sprayer's in the way. Who uh, so kindly just, uh, maybe we'll just run over the booms there. Yeah, that'll, that'll be good for it. And, of course, next time around, we'll have a lot more uh, field here to plant, hopefully, anyway. Okay, and we'll uh, read some comments here a moment. Uh, Art Bob was saying, uh, thank you for your uh, video on how to install mods. It was uh, very helpful. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, you know, again, there's not a whole lot of mods out for Farming Simulator 19 here so far, but I'm sure there will be here at some point. You know, a lot of what you're seeing now is just uh, modified mods of in-game equipment and then some uh, very interesting converts of farming simulator 17 or earlier mods uh, a lot of mods seem like so far that are not working uh, a couple of mods i have tried here uh, that i thought would come in handy on this game uh, i tried the big bags mod uh, for those of you not familiar with that one uh, it basically adds uh, fertilizer seed bags but they're big like i think there's supposed to be like 5,000 liters or something instead of the regular uh, was it 1,000 or 2,000 liters? Whatever they are normally in the game. Uh, they're supposed to be 5,000 liters. I gave those a try. Oh, must be a stump here. Um, where is the stump? The stump here, where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying there, I, I tried that mod. Uh, the big bags didn't work. I was quite surprised by that. I mean, how does a mod author screw that up? But, uh, yeah, the big bags just gave you 1,000. Or was it 2,000? I forget whatever it was again. Uh, they are supposed to be five, and they gave you the exact same amount that the in-game bags did. It's like, seriously? So, yeah, skip that one. Uh, there is a nice S700 uh, series, a more American version out, by the way. And uh, once we upgrade combines, we'll probably definitely check that one out. Uh, I'm assuming the mod author probably just took this one, because they look identical here, and probably just put some proper duels on it. Notice, not clamp-on. They're hub duels. Much more proper, if you ask me, when it comes to uh, larger equipment like that. I have never seen clamp-on duels on any large equipment like that. So, I don't know. Maybe someone in Europe can say, I don't know if that's a thing or not. I have never seen clamp-ons, uh, again, like I said, on that large of a combine or 
you know, again, tractors that are that large either. Uh, 38 Cool, Zach was saying, when are you going to start a mod list? Ah, very good question. Uh, I will probably start a mod list as soon as I start having mods that are good. Uh, of course, the uh, 700 there should be good, by the way. I did not uh, technically download that version, so I don't have a link for it. Although I do know where it came from. That is, I think that's JHHG Modding's uh, S700. I do believe. Could be wrong on that, but... I believe he is the uh, one that modified that S700 to have the additional tire options. Uh, there's also supposedly a logo option in it, with it as well. I have not tried that. You can apparently, oh, I bet you there's another stump here. Apparently, you can put your own logo in it. That sounded pretty cool. Oh, that's actually, you know what? That's not a stump. That's just that little piece. Like, get rid of that here. Let's just <laughs> throw it over here somewhere. Where can I throw it? That'll not be in the way. Hmm. Throw it down the well. We can, too, throw it down the well. Okay. Perfect. And how's the fertilizing looking over here, by the way? Wow. <laughs> like, wow. Okay. Probably didn't want to look at that. Uh, L, L. Leaf was saying the weeds sure need help in this game. Uh, they are cool, but you should be able to spray to prevent them from coming up. Not have to wait until they show up. Uh, I would definitely agree with that. Uh, that would definitely help on the multiplayer server as well. Again, I mentioned we do have an issue on the multiplayer server with weeds. Uh, the fact that uh, you know, different people have different farms... And they're obviously not on all the time, so when their crops are growing, weeds show up while they're not there. And guess what? By the time they get back, you know, the field's fully grown, and you can't do nothing about the weeds. So uh, that is very, very annoying. Uh, again, definitely something that needs to either be addressed by a mod or a uh, farming simulator needs to somehow fix that issue. Okay, there we go. Again, I gotta be like really close to the uh, border here. Uh, Killing Fritz was saying the map is in the trailer. Is a Ravenport. Uh, the windmill down by Field Three in the bottom is it? Uh, easy to see that it's the same map. Uh, okay, I might have to go look at the trailer again because it sure doesn't look like the one that was in the trailer uh, is this map. Wow, I'm surprised it let me plow there again. Interesting. Well, we're going to take it if it'll let us plow there. Uh, you know, again, I, I do have to mention here, uh, GPS mod would definitely make this a little bit easier. Uh, not out yet that I know of, by the way. And uh, one way you can still keep this uh, straight, even if you don't have GPS, is just uh, follow your tire... Uh, down one of the plow rows, and then you should have it fairly straight. Might not be perfect, but again, as you can see, the plow does take out the big bushes. By the way, I know I keep getting asked that. Uh, you can plow them, you can't mow them. Uh, Farm Boss Bob was asking, uh, when will the uh, multiplayer videos start? Uh, I am doing multiplayer on the live streams. I'm not sure I necessarily uh, intend on doing any uh, multiplayer videos necessarily. Uh, you folks can give me some uh, feedback on that, I guess, if you want to see uh, the normal multiplayer videos like I've done in the past. Uh, again, most of my multiplayer videos were never really that well viewed. Most people didn't seem to like the multiplayer series, so uh, debating on whether or not I can improve that uh, somehow. And at least for the time being, 
Uh, like I was saying, multiplayer has been all on the live streams. But, you know, again, if you ask me, it makes a little bit of sense as well. Is that uh, a piece or is that a stump? Oh, I'm thinking that's a stump. Okay. Self, I have to grind that out. Probably about the next pass here, we can uh, grab that. Uh, let's see, Sam's Freedom was saying, love your channel. Uh, looking to get into a farming simulator. And he left a rather long comment here, but uh, just to paraphrase it, basically. Uh, he's looking to get into farming simulator, wants to do it uh, as cheap as possible. Uh, sounds like he must already have a uh, computer, and he's just looking for a graphics card. And uh, wondering where he can get one cheap. Uh, something about $50 cheap, he says. Uh, well, good luck on $50 cheap. I don't think you're going to find, well, a, you could probably find graphics cards for under $50. Uh, keywords being good, though. Uh, good and $50 probably are not going to go together. Ah, there we go. That's the end of our property. <laughs> okay. I was surprised we got it. Uh, let us plow there yet. But uh, most likely, if you want a halfway decent graphics card, you're probably going to have to spend about $100. Uh, myself, I would probably recommend if you want to go something cheap, check out like a GTX 1050 Ti. Uh, that'll at least be a really nice graphics card. Uh, you probably won't be able to play Farming Simulator maxed out settings. But uh, you should at least be able to play at high, if not maybe very high, in Farming Simulator 19 here. You know, again, if you go too cheap, you're pretty much right away going to outdate the uh, graphics card. In fact, if you buy a cheap one, it's pretty much outdated already. So, and then not to mention your experience on it might not be the greatest. Uh, X Big Dog was saying, anyone else having problems with contracts? Uh, I can accept uh, contract go to the field and I will say I do not own the field uh, kind of bummed because I started the hardest difficulty and I can't do my contracts and harvest amounts are super low uh, yes that is very true when you start on oh we hit that stump there that's right we need to grind that out don't we back it up fire up the stump grinder uh, but yeah, I have not had any problems with the contracts myself, although uh, if you ask me, the contracts are kind of worthless. Uh, you definitely do not make very much money on the contracts, uh, especially if you have to lease the equipment. But, you know, again, at this point in the game, uh, unless I get like a small field, I'm pretty much going to probably want to lease the equipment because I don't want to spend, you know, five hours trying to plant a field with, uh, say, my three-meter cedar. Back selected there. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, we'll definitely be able to plow quite a bit more into this section here yet. And we'll have to uh, get this all. Probably actually needs the lime, doesn't it? Yes, it's going to need lime, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, a debatable question here is the lime even worth it? Because let's see what's here. What does the game say? Improving yield, lime. Uh, is plus 15 percent lime i found out is like really expensive to put on your fields by the way uh, i forget how much it costs us to lime 14 15 and 16 keep in mind i used a hired worker but i had the refill off so i was filling it it took me what four times i had to fill it up i think with a hired worker so we were burning through the money there putting lime on that field Again, like I said, it seems kind of debatable if the lime is even worth it or not. Okay, speaking of lime, let's uh, see what's where you're at. Uh, what did you miss here and how much? 
Yeah, it seemed like you missed an awful lot here. Uh, one thing you know with the lime, you can see the lime is on this field here. I don't know why that didn't go away, actually. But uh, when you put fertilizer on it, the lime will disappear. That's kind of interesting. Make a couple passes here, I guess, up and down each side to uh, clean this up a little bit. Get as much fertilizer on it as possible so we get the best yield. Not seeing any weeds here yet. All I can probably do is just fast forward time a little bit here. And by a little bit, 120 times. You know, so if we get some weeds to show up. Like I said, again, it's going to be really annoying if the weeds show up in the last harvestable stage there. Or in the first, actually, first harvestable stage. This field, we got one more growth cycle on yet, so it shouldn't happen here, I won't think. Oh, how are we looking there? That looks pretty good. Those we need to go a little further yet. Okay. And how's that looking? That's looking pretty good. Wow, he missed like the whole... I guess we can just like keep going, I guess. Can't say I've seen him miss that bad before. I'm not sure what's up with that. He's usually pretty good into the rest of this field here. At least 15 and 16 I haven't really had any major issues with. I did notice, by the way, with the combine harvesting on this field here, I had the combine kept getting stuck on that side of the field there, the side with the railroad tracks. Uh, the maintenance, oh, he was, I don't know, what, maybe a third of the way down or so. Uh, so it was getting close to needing maintenance. Uh, he was basically getting stuck down there every time. So I went down, uh, took the combine off field, brought him to the shop there, did the maintenance on him, brought him back, and then he did not get stuck anymore after that. So I thought that was rather interesting that that made that much difference. I wonder if that's kind of what's going on here as well, maybe. Most of the track yeah, is about a quarter percent here, so that'll be the second time we need to maintain the John Deere. Yeah, that should be good. Our third time. Hmm. I might be wrong. This actually might be the third time for the John Deere here, because I think it's about every 15 hours or so, it looks like, you need to do the maintenance on your equipment. At least the tractors, anyway. And that is, again, something to keep in mind. The equipment... Can uh, be maintained as well. I don't know how much it matters with the equipment. Uh, you can see the spreader at least. You know, it's got some paint chips on it and stuff. Yeah, you know, it's, it's looking a little used, you know. I don't know if that actually really affects it in any way or not. Oh, great demand at the Port Green Elevator. Well, if it's for soybeans, I'll have those shortly. You know what? I should probably check. Slow the time back down here. Just a minute. Stop. Uh, how are we looking on weeds? Oh, not seeing nothing yet. Is this uh, grown here? Ah, it is grown. And weeds are 0%, yeah, not showing up on the map either. So, I mean, if they're not showing up on the map, you couldn't see them by getting out of the tractor. But yeah, that's very interesting. I did not get any weeds this time around then. I don't know why or what what I did to uh, get that to happen, but uh, I've said this before. It seems like the weeds are very random as to when they show up. Uh, some people have commented and said they always show up in the first growth stage. Uh, I can definitely confirm that that is not the case, at least for me anyway. Uh, it seems like they're very random as to what growth stage. Uh, in fact, in most cases I've seen it, they usually show up in the later growth stages, I've noticed. You know, usually like the second, probably the third and fourth most often. Uh, especially probably more like the second and third. That's probably when they usually show up. Uh, which we didn't get to a comment here, but uh, maybe I'll just mention it here real quick because we do need to wrap it up. Uh, but a comment somebody left was asking, why aren't you using the weeders? Uh, for one thing, I don't have the money, haven't really had the money to afford one. 
And then second, the weeders can only be used in the first growth stage of the crop. And uh, being that the weeds usually show up in the later growth stages, I don't know how beneficial that weeder would actually be. I mean, can you actually use the weeder if the weeds aren't there? You know, and if the weeds are not there, does it actually have any benefit or not? Because again, like I said, you know, if the weeds don't show up in the first growth stage, let's say they show up in the second or third, you can't use the weeder then. You have to spray. And you know, unless uh, just running the weeder over your field before, during the first growth stage makes a difference. I don't know. I don't know. If somebody can uh, confirm or deny that, uh, let me know. Does uh, weeding your fields in the first growth stage make a difference? Let's see. How are we looking here? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Got a couple missing sections there. Yeah, we'll call that good. Now, it's going to be pretty hard to you know, figure out exactly what's missing without wasting a lot of fertilizer here. Uh, this is the uh, log fork, by the way, the stole log fork. It uh, seemed like it worked decent enough. Like I was saying, you can watch the live stream see see how it worked. You know, based on the fact we made a bit of money from it, I, you know, I'd say we, we made progress, that's for sure. So again, anyway, on that note, everyone, we do need to wrap up the video here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.